In Palestine, the Israeli white supremacist colonial settler regime has attacked by air the basically the biggest open-air prison in the world, which is known as the Gaza Strip in southern Palestine. This is following the deadly raid in Nablus conducted by the colonial regime, which has resulted in 11 martyrs in Nablus and over 100 injured, including some 82 injured by live fire from the occupation army. The European Union and Egypt has sent representatives to Gaza City in a rush to negotiate with the Hamas-ruled enclave there to quote-unquote calm tensions after the resistance in Gaza launched uh, some attacks which are relatively uh, quite small compared to the military might of the occupation regime. And the occupation regime responded by hitting the uh, Al-Shati refugee camp northwest of Gaza City. The Palestinian uh, Foreign Ministry, through the Wafa News Agency, expresses disappointment in relation to the international community, arguing that the manner in which the delayed manner in which the international community has responded to the growing violence in Palestine uh, sees great disappointment from the Palestinian Authority that they feel that there is a near total disregard for international law and the so-called process to a so-called two-state solution. Israel is clearly pushing the Palestinians by means of its growing vicious violence day by day, week by week. But why is there no uprising like there was in 2000, in late 2000, what's called the second or the Al-Aqsa Intifada? There is an uprising currently, but it's not to the same extent uh, and with the same impact of that of the second Intifada. Why is this? First of all, there is no similar leadership of the Palestinians like they like which they had in that period, not least of Yasser Arafat, who did turn his Palestinian Authority security forces largely into a resistance movement against the occupation. Iraq has been since destroyed by Britain and US. So has Libya. Syria has been consumed in a part Western back violent civil war there for the last decade. So the whole capacity politically, militarily and diplomatically of the region of North Africa and the so-called Middle East has been historically and massively strategically degraded since. Hence why we are not seeing the level of uprising uh, from the Palestinians. We will see where the situation uh, takes the Palestinians, but one thing is for sure, the Palestinians will not be defeated as long as they have their families and communities on their land.